Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to teach you how to manifest a text message from your SP, okay? Or really from anyone. Um, but this is going to be more focused on SP. SP stands for specific person, by the way, because those are the requests that I get. I myself have seen success in this area of my life. I actually made a video about how I manifested three of my SPs back. I'm going to link it here somewhere um, in case I forget to do that. It is in my Law of Assumption Manifestation playlist, which you can find on my channel um, in the playlist section. So yeah, be sure to check that out. I'm going to give you some examples of like texts I've manifested from an SP that I was actually like not in contact with. I know people like hearing stories about that as well. So yeah, that's gonna be there towards the end of the video. Be sure to tune in to the entire video. If there's something that I have mastered, it is this. Okay, and again, I'm not saying this to brag. I'm not saying this to flex. Um, it's, you know, a lot of the times people ask like, okay, if you're talking about manifestation, what qualifies you to talk about this? What are some successes you've had? At least that's kind of the way that I think. So, you know, I want to be able to share concrete examples of my success, which again, I will link examples you know, provide screenshots, provide the tea towards the end of the video. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, actually, I do want to let you know that I have like two pages of notes here. I really organized um, this video. I have been getting so many questions about this stuff and I just want to make my content as useful as possible. And it's just like so excited to be here and talk about this stuff because, you know, I want to let you guys know it is so easy. Okay, I was in your boat. Sometimes I'm still in your boat and um, I really feel like I've cracked the code, okay, and I'm gonna like uh, break it down step by step. There's like four uh, main steps that I have here, or, like this video is just gonna be split into like, you know, four different, um, not really topics, but sort of like subtopics in terms of how to manifest a text. So yeah, I will for real go ahead and get started. The first thing that you have to do is assume that they want to talk to you okay if you want someone to text you you know you got to apply the law of assumption that's exactly what my channel is about here on this channel we talk about law of assumption not really a law of attraction type of channel although there are some elements i will definitely you know refer to in the law of attraction but law of assumption basically states that whatever you assume to be true is what ends up happening it's what ends up showing up in your reality okay so the first thing you got to do is assume they want to talk to you okay assume that they love talking to you assume that you know you're the most fun interesting person to talk to assume that you know everyone loves talking to you um you know especially your sp they can't go to sleep without talking to you okay they can't go throughout their day without talking to you they need to talk to you they have this urge to talk to you they'll implode in them within themselves if they don't talk to you okay make your affirmations as dramatic as possible i kid you not this works okay um if you're new to this yeah this might sound kind of weird but like it, it's it's what ends up working okay uh literally you got to make up stories you got to make up assumptions about them which is probably the opposite of everything that you've grown up hearing like people have all you know a lot of times they've said things like oh don't just assume things don't make assumptions Law of assumption is exactly that. You do have to make assumptions. A lot of the times, even if they're not texting you, we're going to get to that later on in the video. Make excuses, make assumptions on why they're not texting. It's obviously not because they're with someone else. It's because, you know, they're just busy or they fell asleep or something like that. But anyways, uh, we'll get to that later on in the video. I'm also going to talk about what not to do when manifesting a text message. So, yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is assume they want to talk to you. And something else that I want to point out is that if you have not received a text message from, text message from them, it's because you may have some limiting beliefs that still need a little bit of like you know just turning over like flip the thought flip the script okay and a lot of the times you know these limiting beliefs are uh, they could be anything. I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. I usually don't like talking about limiting beliefs, but if I'm going to like teach you, if I'm going to tell you about this, obviously I do have to address that. Uh, limiting belief that some people have could be that they don't want to talk to you because of a fight that you had. Maybe you feel like you really pissed them off or you really made them mad or, you know, just 
there could have been unpleasant circumstances, okay, that might lead you to think they don't want to talk to you. And that brings me to my next, like, sort of sub-point within, like, the first point that we're still on. The next uh, thing that I want to talk about, um, or, like, within this is that um, circumstances don't matter, okay? The reason why they haven't texted you is because you have limiting beliefs about circumstances, which you shouldn't because they do not matter, okay? They literally do not matter. I've heard of stories from, like, exes that hated each other's guts you know I've literally heard a story of like someone telling you know this person they never want to speak to them again they don't care about them they'll never hear from them again to that same person texting them like literally a month later okay I actually I think it was less than a month um people say things when they're mad okay like how many times have you thought okay I am never talking to this person again I'm just gonna cut this person off I'm just gonna block them and then you ended up unblocking them or stalking them through a fake account I mean like you know if you can do things like that other people can as well maybe you didn't do that and it's totally fine this is that's just an example but the point is circumstances don't matter and you may have limiting beliefs um, you know regarding these circumstances like again one could be that things left off in a bad way um, or another one could be like oh you know it's been too long since we've talked maybe nothing in particular just happened maybe just drifted apart but then you know you really want them or maybe they live at a distance so you're just like okay well we don't even live in the same area why would they want to talk to me why would they want anything to do with me like, see these are all things you have to like completely flip the script okay of or from yeah, like you have to flip the script when you get these thoughts um think the exact opposite like why wouldn't they want to talk to you who cares about the distance okay like i had a person that lived on the other side of the state you know text me like every single day like this past summer i made a video about it again it's the same video that i referenced in the beginning how i got my 3 sps to text me like this man's was on the other side like i mean it would take like hours to get to this person like the distance was real okay and like you know i know i shouldn't even talk about it because circumstances don't matter but i mean this person like texted me every single day snapchatted me texted me uh sent me instagram memes distance literally does not matter in fact he even said that like the place that he was at like you know no hate to anyone but he's just like the girls are really suck like he didn't find anyone like you know that he was really into he didn't find anyone proper to date and, like you know he really liked talking to me he's all like you know there's certain people that i just don't want to give up on because it's so fun to talk to them and, like he literally said things like that the circumstances don't matter distance doesn't matter um ending on bad terms doesn't matter you can always get back together you can always make amends okay an example that i always like to give is uh Angela and Dwight from The Office, you know, Dwight ends up killing Angela's cat, and yes, she is pissed for the time being, yes, she's temporarily pissed, but spoiler alert, I'm sorry if you haven't watched The Office, you definitely should have, if you haven't, what are you doing? I'm just kidding, but spoiler alert, they do end up getting married, okay, so like, this kind of stuff doesn't matter, I know it's just a TV show, but like, literally nothing is impossible, okay, like, you, you have to think like that. You have to dramatize certain things. That's at least what, you know, helps for me. Like, and when I say dramatize, I mean, like, your affirmation should be, like, this person loves talking to me. They can't live without me. Or, like, they don't have to be that way. Like, do whatever feels natural to you. You know, at first, like, when I started saying that stuff, I'm like, wait, oh, my gosh, this seems, like, kind of weird. Am I controlling? No, I'm not. I'm just, like, you know, picking a version of them that loves to talk to me. I also made a video on free will and manifestation or free will when it comes to manifestation you are not messing with anyone's free will when you decide to manifest them texting you you are just manifesting the version of them that loves texting that loves talking to you okay because we live in a reality um you know we live in a dimension with infinite realities and like versions of people okay and all you're doing is just like calling in that version of that person okay because if you've manifested the version of the person that hasn't talked to you you know there's dis distance with you know whatever the circumstances then you can definitely manifest the exact opposite opposite you can I don't know what's going on with me. Oh my gosh. I'm like so excited to make this video. But like you can definitely manifest the exact opposite. You can manifest like whatever other infinite versions there are, okay? Like it's not out of your scope. Nothing is out of your scope. Nothing is impossible when it comes to manifestation. That's yet another belief that you have to have ingrained in you. Um, in fact, that's like the only thing that you, you have to believe in, okay? You don't even have to like believe in receiving the actual text. You don't have to like feel the feelings. Even because some people have a hard time visualizing and a lot of of the times people end up forcing the feeling or forcing the visualization which takes away from the actual manifestation like forcing anything isn't really the way to manifest 
you know, that is, it just doesn't work. I mean, if visualizing and feeling things comes naturally to you, then so be it. Like, you know, um, that's, that, that's wonderful. Like you're already, you know, yeah, I was going to say you're already ahead of the game, but it's like, you know, a lot of people say like feeling is a secret and things like that. It's not necessarily, uh, it's not needed to do, you know, to manifest anything. But if you do do that, like good for you. But like, I will never come on this channel and say like, you have to feel the feelings. Like, no, you don't. The only thing that you have to have faith in is that manifestation works. And it is 100% perfect okay something else that i want to say is that like you know say things like i am their favorite person to talk to they love talking to me and yeah you're gonna hear me repeat certain affirmations because i'm really hoping that it will impress in, onto your subconscious i'm really hoping that you know it'll be ingrained into you um again that's the like repetition affirmation and persisting is the best way to manifest anything and everything okay i would just say like you know when all else fails just which, you know, it never does. Things are always moving behind the scenes. There is always movement regardless of whether or not you see it. But if you don't see things in the 3D, all you got to do is affirm, 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 persist, 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 okay? And yeah, I mean, that is what works for me. You know, take what resonates. I always say that, but it is what worked for me. It is how I manifested texts from like three different people. Actually, probably more. I kind of lost count. And again, I'm not saying this to brag or sound conceited, but like, you know, there were three people that I actually did want to hear from. And I did end up hearing from like random people as well that I just kind of like thought about, but like I had like really little resistance. So like they just ended up texting me really fast, but I was able to manifest a text from like people that I actually did want to hear from so yeah okay the second point that we have here is practice self-concept okay self-concept is basically like self-love affirmations um take it from me you know believe me when i say that this expedites as well as helps you keep your manifestations for a longer term okay this like really speeds things up and this is a foolproof way of making sure that your manifestations actually stay okay you technically don't need self-concept to manifest that text or anything but it, i would say it is important if you want that manifestation to last the long term okay because in the past you know i was reflecting i realized like you know i was able to manifest things from my exes this was like a long time ago four or five years ago but it's like i had a hard time keeping them because i was in a state of like you know just like not even like really desperation but like, I, just, I just didn't do self-concept enough like I was always on edge I always had anxiety like okay like I don't know if they're gonna want to talk to me anymore like are they gonna get bored of me like I realized like those are the absolute wrong thoughts to have you have you have to flip the script like I said you have to uh, think no I'm the most interesting person ever they'll never get like you know tired of me um, I'm so fun to talk to of course they want to talk to me like you know they love talking to me why would they not you know um, yeah any thought you get like you know everything always has an equal and opposite reaction or in this case everything can be flipped okay so you just you know technically i would even say when you get limiting beliefs when you get like negative thoughts like that it's actually like i would even take that as movement i would even say like oh you're getting closer to your manifestations because at least you're able to identify your limiting beliefs at least you're able to like you know realize like oh wait why is it that i'm not manifesting it's because i think this it's because you know deep down i feel this way about myself or i feel you know anxiety about this based on things that happened in the past and like that's actually a sign that like okay you know what you got to flip that so i would even say when negative thoughts come like you know take even take that as a good sign because it's like you know you're just understanding yourself on a deeper level and you're you know realizing like what it is that you know has has held you back or what is holding you back and like you can instantly flip that so yeah okay um so self-concept really does help and that brings me to my next point. This is like literally the third bullet, my affirmations. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me what my affirmations are and what I script. And I'm going to tell you, okay, I'm going to make it a thing to actually tell you in every video. They sometimes do change, okay? I write a lot. I really do think like that script, oh my gosh, I really do think scripting is one of the most foolproof ways to manifest anything and everything. For me, it works the best. Honestly, it works you know, better than visualizing and affirming as well. Um, I do affirm whenever I have time, I mostly affirm in my mind. And even like, you know, before going to bed, I do visualize, you know, just whenever I can, whenever I have like the mental capacity or like, you know, like I, I do it in a way that doesn't feel forced, but scripting works 
wonders okay scripting is literally gold it's the bread and butter manifesting for me like if you are someone that has a hard time visualizing um then this is it okay and like for some people i would even say like you know if you have a hard time with something it's because like maybe you're not used to that feeling right so it's like i've never been married before and if it's like if i'm gonna manifest being married it's kind of hard for me to visualize that like because i don't really know how it feels like i you know it is all about your imagination i'll definitely definitely look up like pinterest boards like wedding pictures and maybe like watch videos on that and things like that but like at the end of the day like you know i believe in doing what feels natural to you and like i just feel like scripting is you know it ingrains it it impresses it into your subconscious more okay like whatever your desires are it just helps me like you know grasp that really absorb that into my subconscious and i even um i think this was one of my first videos the first or second video that i made in the playlist i talk about like the science behind manifesting and actually writing when you write something oh my gosh like there's okay I'm no neuroscientist or anything but I have been reading up a, you know on neurons and synapses synapses are the ways that you know synapses are basically the electric signals between neurons they're how neurons communicate with one another and when you write something when you put pen to paper there are certain neurons that get fired okay like you know and that helps ingrain things into your subconscious more sorry i'm using that so much but like it's the best way to explain things you know i don't want to like over complicate things i really do like looking into the science and you know logic behind manifestation even though technically manifesting isn't logical but i'm in stem so i kind of do you know take that stuff into account but i did um talk about like how putting pen to paper and like repeating that like just repeatedly scripting does help in the long run and you know the exact impact that it has on your brain that's why when a lot of people study you know they take notes and that's actually a lot more helpful than just like reading through things without like consciously like writing or highlighting or annotating like i've always been an annotator and that has helped me like ace my you know finals like whatever like in you know literature like like the teacher would like make us annotate things so that we could understand things better even like science and, like you know those types of classes yeah anyways i'm getting a little bit off tangent um but i do like to be as thorough as possible with my explanations so bear with me you know if you're here you like i think we're already like halfway through the video and like this is you know yeah this this stuff is gold it really does work i kind of just want to flip through my journal to show you how much i manifest to show you the benefits of putting pen into paper and like just how much i did this is over the span of like the last like four or five months okay so like don't be intimidated yes i filled out every single page um i started filling out like other notebooks i think i'm on my like second or third notebook I just like I like starting new notebooks because I have a thing for notebooks. I even like write on my iPad, just whatever like writing thing that I have, writing utensil, writing pad. Like I just start manifesting. Okay, like it's so anxiety relieving. It's so like you know stress relieving as well. Like if you ever feel like you're spiraling and your thoughts are just all over the place, I'm telling you like grab a pen, grab a pencil, grab a cute little notebook, or just grab anything and just start writing. Okay. I even feel like, you know, and I talked about this in my other video, that when you just like affirm or visualize, it's kind of easy for your thoughts to be all over the place. But when you're actually writing something, you know, you're thinking more consciously about whatever it is that you're like manifesting or focusing on. Okay, like it's a lot more conscious is what I'm trying to say. And it's like you're less likely to have your thoughts go all over the place because it's really a form of meditation. It's really a form of like concentration. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I actually ended up scripting. I do script a page almost every single day. There have been days that I missed. And even though I missed those days, I still ended up getting my manifestation. So please do not think if you miss a day or two, it's going to mess up your manifestation. You know, don't take this as like a stressful thing. Don't feel like you have to like, you know, like overwork yourself, you know, try to manifest. Just do whatever works best for you. Do whatever feels natural to you. Um, your manifestations are still going to come to you. The only person that can stop your manifestation is you. Once you've had that desire, once you've consciously, like, you know, um, manifested for your desire, it will be on its way to you. So anyways, I am going to read my affirmations. Again, a lot of people have been asking me for this and they want to know exactly how I script. So I'm going to tell you, I'm literally going to read an entire page. So I would even recommend maybe you grab a pen and paper and take some notes or just, you know, pause the video. Um, yeah, I'm, I am going to go over this, like, fairly 
fast you know I'm not gonna like spend too much time or like repeat any of them uh, again I'm just gonna read this entire thing so I don't know how long it's gonna take but this will really help I promise you that I'm 100 I 1000% promise you that by the way I just got two text messages probably from my SP because we have been texting we have been talking I got back together with this SP I'm gonna again talk more about that at the end of the video so yeah okay so here are my affirmations the first one is I am always prioritized valued and pursued I am always chosen I always come first I am irreplaceable I am magnetic again these are self-concept affirmations or self-love affirmations as you will and they will expedite as well as help you keep your manifestations for the long run, okay? Just another remind reminder there. Okay, the next one is, I am always treated like a queen and goddess. You can change that to king and god, whatever you feel comfortable with. I am always respected and valued. I would always, oh my gosh, I would also add always, okay? Like always just implies that it's, always happen for you it's always happening for you and it will always happen for you okay so always does help with that um the next one is my relationships are always perfect so this implies getting that text message okay this implies constant communication um everything always works out in my favor my life is perfect every aspect of my life is thriving i am perfect as i am i am desired confident and secure I always attract and get exactly what I want in the best form. Okay, this is a foolproof way of getting the text that you actually want. Okay, another thing that I want to tell you before I read the rest of my manifestation or the rest of my, aha, the rest of my affirmations is that if you want a text, get specific on what it is that you want because you could be manifesting a text message that you won't really be satisfied with. Okay, it could be like, you know. Maybe like you'll manifest a text, but it's like they'll be mad at you or something like that. So like be specific, be clear on what it is that you want. Do you want an apology? Do you want the relationship to go somewhere? In fact, I would even say like I know the title of this video is how to manifest a text. But if you're trying to manifest an SP, if you're trying to manifest a relationship, then you should be manifesting for a relationship, not just a text message. You should be thinking farther, okay? So like a lot of times you will get exactly that text. You will get that text message, but you know, you should be clear on what it is that you want after that. Because a lot of the times people will get the text message and then they'll get anxious again because they just stopped at that text message so again just be clear on what it is that you want i know some people just want a text they just want an apology they just want clarity they just want you know some sort of like conversation and like they'll be fine with that but you know whatever it is that you want just be clear about that okay that's something that i probably should have addressed in the beginning of the video when i talked about like a zoom they want to talk to you but um never too late to talk about it so yeah um, the next affirmation is, I am perfect as I am. I am desired, confident, and secure. Okay, I think I'm repeating myself. Okay, uh, let me actually go to the next one. I am admired, adored, and cherished. I am always fully loved and fully chased and fully pursued. I like the fully because it means like, you know, they're gonna keep texting you. You're gonna be able to keep that constant contact and communication going on. Honestly, I should make a whole nother video about this, but yeah. Um, the next one is I am amazing, interesting, unique, confident, and fun. Again, these are just my personal affirmations. Do what feels good to you. You know, when I say I'm fun, I'm interesting, that implies that they want to talk to me, that I'm a fun person to talk to. Um, the next one is I am always treated like royalty. I also wrote I'm a goddess and queen again. That's just like one of my underlying, like, you know, like overlying affirmations that I just always use. Because sometimes I have a lot of affirmations and like, you know, when I'm kind of in like a relaxed state of mind like you know i just like i have a couple of affirmations that like you know i like to repeat over and over again that are easy to remember the goddess and queen one is super easy to remember and it kind of just implies everything for a goddess and queen of course people will give you the special treatment of course people will spoil you of course they'll text you so yeah um the next one is i am always spoiled with attention i am everyone's favorite everything I am so grateful. So whenever you express a positive feeling towards something, you're telling the universe, aka just you, because you are the universe experiencing itself, that you want more of that. Okay. If you're spiritual, I know a lot of spiritual people follow me. This um, means that like you're in the vibrational vicinity of that thing. So like for example, you know, if you see like 
you know, someone getting married or someone getting some sort of accomplishment or desire that you have that's actually a positive thing because it means you're in the vibrational vicinity of that thing. And, you know, I am a little bit spiritual, so at times I will talk about vibrations and, like, I, I just know a lot of spiritual people, like, you know, watch this. You know, I'm sure there's a different way of talking about it, like, in the logical world if you're not spiritual, but, like, you're just telling yourself that you want more of that. So I personally do think expressing gratitude does help. It does expedite your manifestations. It does help you keep your manifestations because it has a positive connotation or association with what it is that you're trying to manifest. Like when you say, I'm grateful for this, again, you're telling yourself that you like this, that you want more of this. You're telling the universe, aka you, like I said, you are the universe experiencing itself. Um, you're telling your subconscious that you want more of that. So I personally do like that I am grateful um, affirmation. Like I'm grateful that I got this text, you know, talk in the past tense. I'm grateful that I got my SP. I'm grateful that I got my desire because it's like, you know, you're implying that you have it. You're implying that you, you know, it's something that you want more of okay so yeah that is something i wanted to point out as well um the next one is i am magnetic and irresistible i really love uh this affirmation this is something that i also loop over and over i am magnetic irresistible and irreplaceable okay and yeah so those are my affirmations okay i really do hope this helps someone i would just recommend script this for the next seven days and see what happens okay just literally everything that I said even just take a couple okay take a couple that stand out stand out to you and just script them and I guarantee you you're gonna see some movement at least in the next seven days okay or at the most 21 days because it takes 21 days to form a habit and you will see movement I Again, I 100% guarantee that maybe you'll see a sign, maybe you'll see your SP post something about texting someone, like you will see something and that will like just further your confidence in manifesting. So yeah, um, okay. The fourth point here, okay, bear with me, we are almost at the end and then I'm also gonna like show you screenshots of the actual text that I've manifested. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm with someone and this man spoils me so much. Like, he literally reflected my affirmation that I'm spoiled. I'm constantly pursued. I am, you know, like, I, I am treated like royalty. I am treated like a queen and goddess. I don't think anyone's been this nice to me. That's all because I have really high self-concept. Okay, I've been working on my self-concept and self-love a lot. And that's, that's kind of a lifelong thing. You know, it's something, it, you know, that you're going to have to keep doing in order to see your manifestations come through and in order for you to keep them. Like I said, okay, like this isn't just some homework assignment. This is something that I will say you should constantly be working on. And it's fun to do, okay? It's not hard at all. Literally, it's just you hyping yourself up. It's the easiest thing to do. It's the funnest thing to do. And it's really not that compliment complicated you know i know a lot of people like you know always like asking other people for affirmations and that's totally fine i love sharing my affirmations in fact like you know a lot of these affirmations are affirmations that i have gotten from other people like there's so many people that have inspired me some of these i got from like pinterest boards that really helps as well i'm gonna make a whole nother video of that you know i'm in certain groups and people have shared their affirmations i love just being able to share affirmations there's no reason we should gatekeep them um so yeah just my personal opinion okay so yeah finally getting to the fourth point um so here are some more assumptions that you should make and also some things that you should not be doing so the first thing that you have to know is that your sp is inside of you okay they're not separate from you like i said you are the universe experiencing itself so if you want to see changes in the 3d the only thing that you have to do is change yourself from within the only thing that you have to do is change your assumptions about you know whatever it is that's going on so like assume that they're not doing anything without you like if you haven't heard from them just be like oh they fell asleep oh they're busy like i said in the beginning make excuses for them but then like you know be like okay well sure they must have done that but like now they are going to talk to me okay they fell asleep but they'll text me the first thing in the morning okay they were busy but they were still thinking about me while they were doing this thing okay and do not do not think that like they're texting other people okay here's what here's what's not to do you know something that kind of could cause more resistance and possibly even delay your manifestations is you assuming that they're texting other people or they don't want to talk to you or like you know whatever limiting beliefs that like i pointed out in the beginning again circumstances do not matter you don't even need to give attention or thought or time of day to these other other things that could be holding you back why would they be texting anyone else if they're texting you you're the finest most interesting most intriguing most amazing most beautiful most handsome person ever okay they cannot live without you they cannot go a day without texting you they have to talk to you they love talking to you okay 
um, yeah, you know, you're just picking the version of them that just loves talking to you, period, okay? And again, you're not forcing them and do what feels natural. I know some people will have problems with the fact that, like, oh, well, like, you know, that's kind of, like, codependent if you're just, like, you know, saying that, like, they have to, like, rely on you for their happiness. I'm not saying that at all. You know, again, this is kind of just a dramatization. Like, I always say, like, you know, when you shoot for the moon, you will land amongst the stars, okay? So it's, like, if you do say these things with, like, you know, valor you do like dramatize these things channel that like sort of leo energy if you will you will definitely get something out of it okay and i will even say like you know when you land when you aim for the moon you will get to the moon we have been to the moon that's i, I believe in that okay so like you will get your exact manifestations i'm not saying you should ever settle for anything less but like you know sometimes landing amongst the stars could increase your confidence could boost your confidence you know sometimes when you do see external things in the 3d even if it is confirmation even if it is validation like you know it just it like i said it boosts your confidence and it kind of motivates you to keep manifesting okay so I personally don't think it's that bad to like seek confirmation you know I know people will say like oh don't check the 3d don't do this like I would just say don't check the 3d if you know it's gonna cause you more anxiety okay only check the 3d when you know that like no matter what you're gonna be okay with the result you're gonna be okay with what you see I'm not completely opposed to checking the 3d I literally do tarot readings and I even tell people that you know this is just based off the current energy and your current manifestations and where you are so it is okay to like you know once in a while see where you are see how well your manifestations are working okay like I I'm a STEM major I believe in science and I've always believed in like you know experiments like you know I would do something and like I would take notes of like you know each stage that that experiment was in and you know that's how scientists even went to the moon that's how we even have like you know everything in humanity all these technological advancements and things like that anyways I don't want to digress too much but again I just love being thorough so bear with me I love talking my Gemini rising okay clearly I believe in astrology clearly it's my assumption that astrology is somewhat real but yeah you know the only thing I will say is I like, don't check like every two seconds because I also do believe in that state that says um you know w when you plant a seed you're not going to check every five seconds to see if a tree has grown right so like you know kind of just do whatever feels good to you do whatever feels natural to you you don't have to check like every five minutes you don't have to check all the time in fact like that is something that you probably shouldn't be doing but once in a while if you kind of just want to see where your energy is at or where your manifestations are at you know whatever you believe in you know um, energy is just kind of like yeah, where you're at, then that's totally fine. Okay, so that is something that I wanted to say. Um, the other thing is practice indifference to your 3D reality. Don't focus on what's not there. Okay, don't focus on what you don't see. In fact, just tell yourself otherwise. Just be like, yeah, I'm grateful they texted me. Of course they texted me. I, you know, it's so great that they texted me. I'm happy they texted me. Um, you know, they always text me. They always love texting me. I know it seems like delusional, but that's literally what it is. That's how things end up coming into your reality. Again, this is different than everything that you have ever learned growing up, okay? Like, I literally learned, like, don't be delusional. It doesn't help you that, you know, don't assume things. And again, this is all in my mind. Like, I wouldn't say this out loud. Like, you know, if, me, if I was talking to someone and if they did ask me, like, hey, have you heard from this person? Maybe I would tell them the truth. Like, I'm not saying, like, go completely, like, you know, delusional in real life. But, like, it is about your mentality. It is about the way that you think. It is about your perspective. It is about, you know, having that mindset shift. That is the only thing you need. One of the only things you need when manifesting, okay? But, again, practice indifference to the 3D reality. Like, the 3D is an illusion, okay? Don't accept anything in the 3D that doesn't serve you only accept things that you know are in alignment with your manifestations or are your actual manifestations so yeah don't focus on what you don't have you know I would even say like keep yourself busy like I love you know just making videos and talking and indulging in hobbies and you probably have a lot of great things going on for you or taking a walk going outside into the nature you know like I really do see I really will say that like you know keeping busy is the best thing because you're not focusing too much on the lack and thus you're not causing more resistance you know a lot of the times when you don't manifest things it's because of limiting beliefs and resistance it will come to you regardless even if you have like a lot of resistance and limiting beliefs your manifestations will still come to you okay so and something else that I want to point out is that once you have consciously manifested like I said at some point in the video it will come manifestation is 100% 100% perfect you will get it at some point the only person that can stop your manifestation from coming is you okay and that's only if you decide to consciously stop it only when you say like yeah whatever I don't want this anymore okay 
literally like it will be on its way and if you don't want it it's totally fine just just affirm or just think yeah I don't, I don't really want this anymore then it'll stop okay but yeah your manifestation is perfect you will get that text okay you will get that constant contact you will get that relationship you will get whatever it is that you want okay you will get a text from that recruiter if that's what you're into um if that's the type of thing that you're trying to manifest as well um i'm definitely going to try and make more like money manifestation career manifestation videos as well but i do know the sp ones again specific person ones romance manifestations relationship manifestations are super popular and again like i'm so grateful to have experienced a lot of success in that area of my life so I just want to tell you what works best for me and like again if I can do it literally anyone can okay that is my assumption so yeah okay so just to summarize don't acknowledge lack and also don't focus on time okay like don't be like when's it gonna come like even with tarot it's like yeah sometimes readers you know I do this too like I do give time frames but like don't be disappointed if it doesn't come within the time frame in fact I would even say don't like ask when it's gonna happen okay like just maybe like get a reading but like just don't focus on that too much I mean if you want to it's okay again it's all about you and it's all about how you feel you know and just what won't cause you resistance because I will say that sometimes you know at least when I've been to tarot readers and I've asked like oh what time will this happen what time will this aspect of my life you know see a change in, or what time will I see a change in this aspect of my life and the reader told me something and the time came and it didn't end up happening you know that just made me more upset so like I would just say don't focus too much on that like I said just keep yourself busy just keep affirming and persisting okay affirm and persist until you see your like desired manifestations until you see that happen in your 3d but don't stress yourself too much something else you should not do is stress yourself too much to the point of exhaust exhaustion okay i've heard like crazy stories about people taking days off to manifest please don't do that okay like don't like disrupt your daily cycle just to do that okay manifest whenever you have time affirm whenever you have time i manifested every single day i scripted a page almost every single day there were definitely days i missed again did not hinder my manifestations whatsoever and i just did it when i was feeling relaxed i did it like you know just whenever i had free time like i do have at least you know i am pretty busy but like i have at least a good two to three hours in the day just to myself okay even in the shower sometimes i just affirm in the shower say in the shower like it, it doesn't have to be hard okay just script whenever you have time i would say either script first thing in the morning or before you go to bed um i will make another video on this but like there are certain times that are really good to manifest because of like you know what's going on in your brain i will just summarize that before you go to bed or like right before you're about to fall asleep your brain is in theta mode and that's when your subconscious is dominant and that's when things are more likely to impress onto your subconscious so that does help okay that definitely does help so yeah that's why i do recommend manifesting before going to bed but again manifest whenever you feel necessary even if you have anxiety like you know that's the best time to manifest honestly transmute that anxiety transmute whatever you're feeling into you know your manifestations like a lot of the times i've gotten exactly what i want by doing that because like I'm a intense person, I feel things passionately, okay, and I was able to transmute and transform those emotions, those feelings, into successful manifestations, okay, via scripting. So if I can do it, you can. Like I said, okay. So and now I am going to talk about the specific text messages that I have gotten. So I did manifest an SP back after like seven to eight months of no contact i consciously started affirming like three or four months before i got that contact um and like the thing is we are solid like we're dating we're in a relationship and it's one of the best relationships i've ever been in in my entire life so let me tell you okay i got a text and more from this person um yeah this man's like oh my gosh he spoils me we spoil each other with gifts he we always get each other gifts or little trinkets even when it's not the holidays he just surprises me with flowers and like chocolates i think i'm also gonna go ahead and put a picture of that okay like i posted that in a group i got like 900 likes yeah this person like he just randomly like it wasn't even an, it wasn't even a special occasion he just randomly surprised me with flowers i hit the jackpot with this person okay like i i know I'm, i just said don't put them on the pedestal but i am more just appreciating this person and i know he hit a jackpot with me too because we match each other's energies we're really on each other's level and i feel like you know in the past i might definitely have settled for people but this is definitely something i do not consider settling but yeah he buys me flowers like he gets me gifts he gets me like chocolates um just like random things as well like a notebook a journal a mug 
like things that I like, like, you know, practical gifts that I like, like he really listens to me when I talk and I love that. Okay, again, this is not to flex, this is just to show that if I can do it, you can as well. And a lot of the times people want to know, like, what are your qualifications? Like, why should I listen to you? This is why you should listen to me because I've been manifesting all these things. Yeah. Um, and okay, he also called me the most beautiful woman in the world, like multiple times, like in front of my friends too. I was introducing him to my friends and like, okay, my friends are a little bit like, you know, like they'll make fun of me and like, you know, but like that's like, it's, that was like the best thing ever. Okay. Like I felt like, you know, when I was manifesting, I was manifesting, you know, like just being spoiled, being like, you know, talked up and admired. I, I do believe those were a couple of my affirmations. Everyone always talks me up. Everyone always admires me. And it's like this man's like literally in front of my friends like yeah it was uh, one of my guy friends who laughed at everything he probably thought it was a little bit cringe but this man literally says like oh i'm next to the most beautiful woman in the world and okay i kid you not this is gonna be a little bit gross but that same night i had a little bit too much to you know drink we were partying we were we were actually celebrating my promotion which is another thing i manifested and i'll make another video about that again i know this sounds like flexing but just bear with me but we were celebrating my promotion and i got free shots that night like literally everyone bought me a shot and I too many shots to drink threw up in the uber thankfully i didn't throw up on him my date you know the person that i'm dating the guy that i'm seeing my boyfriend yeah um but like he took care of me the entire night called me like a 200 dollars uber yeah i threw up in the uber not fun it does cost a lot but i did end up like paying for it because i felt bad but i mean this man was ready to pay for it all and it's like this guy drove me back in the morning and he's just like i'm so happy i'm so grateful to be dropping the most dropping the most beautiful woman in the world at your house or like this is the house of the most beautiful woman in the world like that's what he said he said that twice in one day i've heard every single day that i'm beautiful i'm confident i'm loved i think like he reflected my manifestations on an even grander level like this was like my manifestations and then some okay like i said i really hit the jackpot my self-concept is super high it's been high and like self-concept just works so so well but yeah Honestly, like, I know I shouldn't say this, but this is cap, but, like, even I myself don't believe it. Like, that's the thing. You don't have to believe in your manifestations. You just have to believe that it works, you know. I guess I'm I, but, like, I will accept people calling me that, especially someone that I really like. So, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, he always expresses gratitude about being with me. Like, he's just like, you know, I am so lucky to be spoiled by you or like, you know, he spoils me a lot too. We spoil each other. Again, we're on the same level. We're on the same page. Like, our energies match. Like, we're, we're also astrologically compatible. Like, I really, really hit the jackpot. I'm super lucky. And he, always, he also expresses how lucky he is to be with me. I'm going to go ahead and put another text message here. I don't remember, again, exactly what it says because, like, there's so many, like, sweet text messages. And I do scream shot these and you know like I try to remember like and like write down the success of my manifestations like are my manifestation successes as well I need to get a little bit more diligent about that you know like I was saying I guess some people might find this cringe my friends definitely did but that's also like a fun part of manifesting like if you're affirming something like you know it should feel natural to you even when you're visualizing like I think at some point I did visualize like someone really talking me up and like my friends kind of just making fun of me and like you know it's that like well yeah that one song hey there Delilah and like he says like oh our friends make fun of us but they don't know what it's like to be in love or something like that the lyrics or something along the lines of that I, I love that song by the way I, I feel like that's a manifestation song imagine your sp singing that to you okay imagine your sp literally singing hey there delilah or making a song about you okay yeah um okay and then yeah we also exchanged like 128 replies on one text thread okay like if you have iMessage you get to respond to every single text like each like individual text is respondable is that a word yeah this is not just like a one-time thing like we've had these really really long text threads we have like super long conversations we can just talk about anything and everything like i really know this person he really knows me um yeah this is again the best relationship i've ever been in and this is something that i manifested after a no contact situation like the reason we went into no contact is probably because i started lacking my assumptions probably started changing or i let the past i let the learning beliefs get to me i also thought distance was a thing like i thought i was going to be moving some Somewhere, but like it turns out I'm not I even manifested staying in the place that I'm in because I really don't want to move for my job I love working from home so yeah um that's just another thing I wanted to point out again nothing is impossible if I can do it you can as well um 
But yeah, I am going to go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching this entire thing. If you have, I really hope this helped. If you watched this long, thank you so much. I literally love you so much. And I will manifest that you get all of your manifestations as well. And yeah, okay, I will reveal end the video right here. Thank you so much once again. I love you all so much. And do let me know if you have more questions about manifestations in the comments. Uh, if you want like personal advice, like I will start up coaching at some point, but I I would love to hear questions. I would love to hear feedback and insight. You know, just, yeah, any sort of comments are appreciated. And yeah, okay, I will for real, for real end the video right here. Thank you so much once again. I will see you all next time.